Hey YouTube, the Mafia 306 here, and um, this is going to be the first of a number of videos that are going to be about math. I've decided to take a little bit of a break from studying languages, and to be honest, I just really haven't had a whole lot of time to do it. But to those of you subscribed to me for language videos, I promise that these language videos will eventually keep coming. I just haven't had any time to work on them lately, so I do apologize for that. Um, this video is probably going to wind up being about a two or three part video, and I know there are some videos out on YouTube about this, but I don't think any of them go as far as I'm planning to take this video. So if you've already seen this, or if it's on another video, then I apologize. But what this video is going to be for, this is going to be the first uh, math series uh, video, and it's going to be about uh, squaring large numbers in your head. No calculators here. So uh, I know that most video, that most of the videos, if not all of them, that try to cover this only do numbers like 103 times 103 or uh, 116 times 116. But if you apply the method, it actually works for theoretically numbers up to 1,000 times 1,000. Now, I won't take it that high, and you'll see why once we do this, because it, the math does get very involved. But uh, without further ado, um, let's just, let me just introduce the method to you for small numbers, relatively small numbers, and then we'll move forward from there. So let's start off with the most simple one. 101 times 101. Now, I know that you guys uh, can see the reflection in the whiteboard on the screen, and I do apologize for that, but I don't know how else to handle that. But I know that you can at least see the writing here. So we're going to do 101 times 101. Now, the key to this method is to know your squares, you, and you need to know 1 squared, 2 squared, 4 squared, 10 squared, 20 squared in your head. Um, in order to be the, in order for this method to really work, um, you ideally would need to know all the way up to 99 squared in your head, which just memorize them. But I know that not everybody does that. Not everybody does that. Um, I don't even have them all memorized. I don't know why anybody would really just waste their time with that unless you like to memorize things. But um, you'll see why you need to know that. So here's the method. You've got 101 times 101. So you're gonna look and you're gonna see. Okay, 101 is one away from 100. Your base here is 100. So we're one away, so we're going to double that distance. So one doubled is two. So we are one away, and you double it, and you get two. And I'm kind of writing on an angle, so I know this is all sloppy. I apologize for that. So this two, you're going to attach to your base of 100. So you get. 102. Now, you're going to look at the last digit here, in this case, 1. What's well, 1 squared? 1, obviously. So, we write 0, 1. And there's our answer. 10,201. Pretty simple, right? So, let's do 102. Here's 102 times 102. So our number 102 is 2 away from our base of 100. So we're going to take that distance, 2, and we're going to double it. So 2 times 2 gives 4. So next step is to attach the, ba the 4 to our base of 100. You get 1, 0, Four. All we did was take our 4 and just attach it to our base of 100. And now we've got 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. So we write 
zero four. Ten thousand four hundred four. So let's make it a little bit tougher now. Let's try I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's do one oh nine. One hundred nine times one hundred nine. Like that. So we look at our number, nine. Nine is nine away from our base of one hundred. So nine. Now we double that distance. So nine times two is eighteen. Now you attach this eighteen to our base of one hundred. Or you add it, in other words, to the base of one hundred. You get one eighteen. One one eight. And now you look at our number nine. 9 squared is 81. So our answer is 11,881. So some of you might be asking, well, what if when you square the number, you get a number over 100, to where you can't just stick it onto the end here? Well, let's look at one, 112. Here we've got 112 times 112. So we take our distance from our base of 100 is 12. So our distance is 12. We're going to double that distance. We get 24. So now we add this number to our base of 100. We get 124. So now what we need to do is we need to look at 12 and we need to square it. And I wrote over my 1, sorry about that. And it just looks terrible, but you get the idea. 112. Well, 12 squared is 144. But if we try to add 144, we get 124,144. So that's not right. What we do, though, is we carry down our last two digits. So 12 squared is 144. We carry down our last two digits, the two fours, like here. So there's our two fours. And then the one here gets added to the next decimal place, or to the next digit. So that becomes a five. And our number is 12,544. I hope everybody followed that. If I'll do one more example you know, just to make sure everyone understands it. I'm running out of time. So now let's look at 115 times 115. Right. So again, our number 15 is 15 away from our base of 100. Double that, you get 30. So you add this number to your base, so 130. And now you need to do 15 squared. 15 squared is 225. And this is why it's nice if you have your squares memorized, because what if you have 146 times 146? Well, you're going to be doing 46 squared, and you need to be able to know what that is. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So 225. So we write down our last two digits and then we carry the two this time over and add it and we get one three two two five thirteen thousand two hundred and twenty five so let's do one more a uh, little bit more complicated here just to really show that this method works let's do 151 times 151 take our distance 51 double it I'm going fast because we're almost out of time. You get 102. So now you take your 102 and you add it to your base of 100. 100 plus 102 and you get 202. So that means that the first three digits of the answer are 202. Now you need to look at 51 squared. 51 squared is 2601. But if you try to write that all out, you get this, which is obviously not the right answer. So what do we do? Here, 202, we know that our answer is going to be five digits. 
So we carry down our 0, 1, and then we add the 2 and the 6 here to the next two spaces here. Everybody see that? So we get 2, 0, 2, and then 2, 6, 0, 1. And you get 2, 2, 8, 0, 1 as your answer. So try it and see if you can figure any of them out. And I know that I went a little over on this video, but uh, next time I'll show you the trick for doing 200s, 300s, 500s, and so on. But the math does get a lot more complicated. So hope you stay tuned. Hope you watch my next video. Thanks for watching.